Thanks for joining us tonight at five. Scott's in for Felicia Lawrence and we kick off tonight with a unique event this week, bringing more than 50,000 people to Indianapolis. The Catholics are gathering in our city for what's called the National Eucharistic Congress. As our Jenny Runovich reports, this is no ordinary convention. We have hosted so many major events here in Indianapolis, but this one is truly unprecedented. We're talking about tens of thousands of people, a once in a generation event for Catholics and the first of its kind in 83 years. Designed to renew the Catholic Church and revive people's faith, the National Eucharistic Congress, a huge religious convention, is about to start downtown. It's not only historic, the first since 1941, it is big, even for Indy. This is not a small gathering. We're expecting 55,000 Catholics from across the United States and even the world. Many of them making a pilgrimage to the crossroads of America, driving and walking thousands of miles for months. We spotted some yesterday at 10th and Rural. All converged on St. John's Church downtown. Chaz started from California back in May. It's been a, a long, really rewarding journey, a mixture of riding in our Eucharistic van and walking from church to church, town to town. And now we're here at this Congress in which everyone is now coming to one point, right, to celebrate one God, right, and learn more and hopefully walk away really changed. The five-day event, mostly held at Lucas Oil Stadium, is expected to make a $62.2 million economic impact. For Catholics, the impact is priceless. Daily mass, making meals for the hungry, keynote talks, and worship. And so we'll have opportunities for prayer, for liturgy, for service, and for teaching. Plus, a procession downtown Saturday afternoon. Thousands going from Capitol in Georgia to Monument Circle to the War Memorial. Roads will be closed with more than 100 state troopers and IMPD officers keeping things safe. It's unique because we have never in our past that I can recall moving 40,000 people at one time for about 1.2 miles. Indy was chosen for the Eucharistic Congress because of its central location and ability to host large scale events. For Catholics, our city is now a place to celebrate sacred tradition. Simply to come and pray and worship God together. In a personal, profound way. Jenny Runovich, 13 News. The Eucharistic Congress begins tomorrow night at Lucas Oil Stadium and the big procession Saturday begins at 3. Do expect to see some road closures downtown from 2 until 7.